What is up everybody? Hello and welcome to another figure review by Figma from the melancholy of Harui Sutsumiya. It's Mikuru Asahina. It's been a while since I reviewed the Harui figure from Figma and ever since then I was like, you know what? You know who my favorite character from that show was back when I watched it way, way back in the day? Mikuru. Mikuru, Mikuru, Mikuru. And I just like saying that word, that name. She's such a cutie and always like so embarrassing, so embarrassed actually. And she's like, she's fun. And I really thought like, hey, I have, an Har I have a Harui now, so why, why don't I get a Mikuru? Said and done. And it's always fun to go back to just like, look at this, Figma 006. This was one of the first, this was one of the very first Figmas, and it's just cool to have it in my collection. But as you know, I don't keep stuff in a box, so let's get to it. I like to call this one, Welcome to the Basics. Anime Schoolgirl, check. And going back to this is number six from the Figma line, I really wonder how many schoolgirls they've done over the years. Size of the figure, 13 centimeters to the top of her head, which means she's a little over five inches tall. The face looks very nice. They really captured the innocence of the character. I like the molding in the hair also. It is flat, there's no... It seems like there's a little bit of shading. Gets a little bit brighter down here. Could it just be... No, it's not just the lighting. There's, there's some magic going on. It looks very nice, actually. Schoolgirl uniform also very nicely molded, especially like the wrinkles in the arms. You know, some details like that don't make it completely straight. And the wrinkles also work for the articulation, which we'll see you later. And it looks good. I mean, it's well hidden how they just made this gap over here so you can put the arms up. It just looks like a regular wrinkle. So, well done on that part already. And you got the soft plastic skirt with the panties under that, perv mode activated. Still have a belt over there, which I didn't even notice. Also nicely hidden, but we'll get to... I'm already like showing half of the articulation, by the way, but it's just like... It's nicely done how they, they hide these things and still get good articulation out of that. So then the legs and shoes, they go with the little socks over there. Articulation! First of all, like you've already seen, the head goes forward nicely, and they left a little bit of space down here at the, at the, at the hair. So it does go up just a tiny bit, not much though, but you can't really blame him for that. You gotta have the hair over here, otherwise it just would just would be standing out way too far. And I don't like that. You don't really go side to side, once again the hair basically negates that. It goes a little bit, it's fine. It goes around also, would go all the way around, but I don't, I don't want to force it too much. Overall the thing is the hair, it's just blocking it. And other than that, the articulation in the neck, in the head is good. There is no neck articulation, actually. Shoulders, you have the ball over here, which is packed into the bicep. So you can bring that all the way up, and it doesn't really go forward or anyway. You can rotate it at the bicep, because this is just packed in, as you can tell. So this one goes around. And the elbows, as I've already mentioned, they have pretty good range. They mold it so it would go up. It wouldn't get blocked and still look good. I mean, it could you could say it could go up more, but with all the molding going on over here, can't really do that and, you know, make it still look good. Does that... I mean, you can rotate it around a little bit. Since it's a flat ball joint, it will not go all the way around. And then we have the classic, the classic thing about just a peg with a hinge, so it can bring it back and forth. It's not as effective as the cut ball joint. Also doesn't look as good, but it gets the job done. Torso articulation, once again, I've already shown you this, you have the belt just hidden under there and nicely molded, so you will have your detail over here, which does not hinder the movement of the upper body, of the torso area. Then down here at the legs, we can also rotate around, bring it forward, basically all the way and back. I'm speaking about the crotch piece over here, because this is just uh, connected into the torso and I guess they have just like a cross piece over here that goes into the ball joints from the legs so the legs go up all the way basically I mean it gets pushed down again by the skirt a little bit goes way back and goes out to the side 
also it doesn't actually rotate around at the fly. No, not really. I thought this piece would rotate, but as you've seen, it just pegged off. Can rotate it around basically at the at the ball. Not really a lot. You have the knees. They don't look good. That's nothing new, but they go up almost all the way. Once again, you have a bit, a little bit of a gap here. That's something I, you know, I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not really fond of this. If you want to make a pose, by just kind of pose them from the back, just leaning over or something like that. This will, this will not look good. Eh. But it's a, it's a sacrifice for the articulation. The foot goes out to the side a little bit. Since it's just on a pack, this is not a full-fledged anchor rock, it's just a pack that goes into the foot, but it goes up and down. Also not, I mean, enough, but could, there could be more. And then the leg disconnects again, that's my fault. I guess I pushed that a little bit too hard when I tried to rotate it. Having a look at the accessories, first of all, you have all these hands. You have some open hands to hold something, even though she doesn't come with anything to hold. You have two pointy fingers, Two more, like just posing hands, open ones, and less open ones. You have the perfect two faces. Seriously, seriously, if I think Mikuru, those are the two faces I would do. Like, shy smile, looking to the side, not really keen in what's going to happen because, you know, Harui, she's not, she's, a, she's evil. She's evil with this poor Mikuru. And then, of course, the crying, just like. It's perfect, it's perfect for this character. Then we get to probably one of my favorite words. Wabaki. Wabaki. Wabaki! Shoutouts to Tokyo Drift. I'll never I'll never forget that. But yeah, you have the the school slippers, also known as Wabaki. I said that like a million times now. You have your Figma base. And you have your Figma back, which is the standard. Final thoughts time, what do I think about this figure? Well, not much has changed. Figma, they know they are anime schoolgirls and just all of this. There's not anything I can really complain about. I mean, there could be an articulated neck. There could be, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know what could there be. Bicep swivel? I mean, you kind of have a bicep swivel. Anyway, she looks great. You have the faces are spot on, is really what you need for this figure. And I'm actually surprised that you can still find these on eBay at a reasonable price. So, I don't know. If you like this design, if you like the show, if you just want to have a good looking anime school girl, this is definitely a buy. 100% recommended. So as usual guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, feel free to hit it up with a like. And maybe subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, gameplay stuff, and whatever Mikuru wants.